Hey folks, this is Kalani, and welcome to the Vigil Keep base camp. Now, as a first little note, you can get here via balloon from the other camps, and you can obviously get to the other camps from here. Now, you got everything which is at the other camps, including the camp director, all of the merchants such as the belongings and heirlooms, the random vendors as well. You've also got Timey over here. Hi, Timey. Glad to see Scruffy's okay. Now, in case you weren't aware, everything from Lion's Arch has been redirected to Vigil Keep. So you've got the South Sun Cove Surrogate and Fractals of the Mists. Very cool. Although a little strange to be out in the open. And then we move up into the Keep proper. And you can see we've got all our guild stuff here, including the Commendations Vendor, the Registrars, Weaponsmith, Armorsmith, that kind of stuff. We've got some more random vendors. Which is pretty cool, but then we take a turn, and we've got quite a bit more. So you got nice rows of vendors to sell you everything you could want, and obviously to buy all of your goodies. The Black Lion Trading Post in its mobile form, both traders as well as the Weapons Specialist. So that's pretty cool. And then moving upwards, oh, we'll grab a banner. To the left, we got the Mystic Forge. We also have the banks. Now, in there are. Let's have a, a quick gander. You got your banker, as well as your guild bank. So, that's where those are. You've got a nice little portal into Heart of the Mists. It's obviously very nice. Repairs, vendor, karma. You get the idea. Pretty much everything from Lion's Arch. You got your cultural weapons. And then you got portals to everywhere. Da Vinci's Reach, Ratasum, The Grove, Black Citadel, and Holbrack. Now, obviously, portals to the other capitals. Capitals, we'll go with capitals, is rather important. It's kind of like a hub between everything. Although. I'm not entirely sure, I haven't checked on the other end if there's portals kind of coming back. But you've got Edge of the Mists, you've got your Eternal Battlegrounds, and your Battlegrounds gates, which have a nice little colour glow as well, which is really cool. At least they kind of brought that over. Now, apart from that, nothing else was moved. So you may find some NPCs here that you might care about, such as Four Great Savings and uh, Ogden's Hammer, etc. But what you'll notice that is missing is any crafting vendors, trainers, supplies, that kind of thing. There's no crafting here, which means you'll obviously have to go to the, the capitals or somewhere else for your crafting. Apart from that, Vigil Keep is pretty shiny, I'll be honest. I mean, I'm kind of surprised how much they managed to fit in, in such a small area, which is really cool. Now that's a curiosity. And apparently I'd, I'd kill myself if I if I tried. But there's another surrogate which is blocked off. I wonder if that's been here all along. And we're just kind of moving in around it. Curious. Apart from that, as I say, you'll have to go elsewhere for any other services. But they seem to have pretty much everything covered. Although, I think some crafters could have, have taken up shop inside this massive keep. There seems to be a little bit of wasted space here. Oh, and there's a new huge airship, which you can get onto with um, special tickets. But we'll talk about that in a different video. So that's Vigil Keep. Once again, if you haven't explored it on your alts, now may be a perfect time. Thanks for watching, folks. Good luck and have fun. And as always, I will see you next time.